My name is Lukáš Houdek. Uh, I'm a clown. I'm a healthcare clown and I'm also a teacher of clowning and a teacher of seminars for uh, medical staff and for doctors on humorous communication tool. I come from Prague, the Czech Republic, and uh, the organization is called Zdravotní Clown. It's a member of Red Noses International, RNI. My interest in taking part in this laboratory was not mine originally. <laughs> I, was, uh, I, was, uh, I was told that there's this laboratory uh, by um, uh, a colleague, Carmen, from Red Noses International. And she suggested I might be interested in taking part. And I was, because I'm always interested in the, in the connections of humor to different fields, like humor and medicine, for example, in our case. But humor and human rights, that was really challenging and really exciting. And I certainly, uh, uh, I'm certainly happy that I took up the challenge and that I'm here. Can we use clowns as a tool for promoting <laughs> human rights? <laughs> um, yeah, that's a tough question. Um, clowns are clowns are naive and clowns are innocent. And when you tell a clown human rights, uh, they will have no idea what it means. Uh, but because they are naive and because they are innocent, I think they are somehow like naturally human and they promote the, the, the values of human rights without knowing it, uh, which maybe is the best way. Let's not tell clowns that they are promoting human rights because otherwise they might stop doing it. <laughs> what I learned was that there is a connection between human rights and the, the, the work we do. And it's not just, as I thought, coming here, that it's the, the children's right to play which we are kind of promoting and advocating, but it's also uh, the right to health, that we are helping people to, um, uh, to uh, get and maintain their right to health by educating healthcare professionals on communicating with the patients in a very effective and also a very human way. The healthcare environment is a lot about hierarchy and structure and somehow it needs to be maintained because it is a very complex environment uh, and uh, it deals with a very fragile thing, uh, health and life. But all these structures and hierarchies, of course, they create a lot of tensions and that creates a lot of opportunity for release. Now, they are, these, these hierarchies are not, these tensions are not released naturally in the hospital because there's no one who'd be invited uh, to break the structures down, not break them down, but kind of uh, introduce little cracks into them through which the light would get in as the, as, the, as the famous phrase goes. So I think this is the job of the clowns. It's like, it's not to break down structures, it's to naively and innocently uh, pose questions as to the relevance of the structures and uh, as to their true authority. And by asking these questions, you're actually making the structures looser, but you're also making them stronger in a way that they are reflecting upon themselves.